Supercross is back on the west coast of the United States. I'm Ralph Shaheen, along with former Supercross champion Jeff Emmett. Welcome to San Diego. Jeff, what should we expect from tonight's race? That's hard to say, Ralph. The track conditions change considerably during the race, and we're used to a number of dramatic turns of events, especially in the final laps. All we can do is watch together what will happen when the gate drops. Welcome to Monster Energy Supercross 2, the official video game, and welcome to Petco Park in San Diego. I'm Alan Bailey, welcome on in. We're in California for race number six of the Supercross season of a Let's Play Through. I have been to San Diego. I have stories about this stadium. Let me put it that way. We'll get into it in this video. He has the speed and the style that makes him a fan favorite. The riders are in the gates. The roar of the engines is deafening. Time for the gate drop. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Let's go. Let me go. Do not remember the track. I go into all these tracks cold turkey. A bad start for me. No hole shot there for me. And it rained. It did rain on San Diego, in San Diego when I went there. So, like I said, oh boy. By the way, we are second-ish in the point standings. At least we were <laughs> before all this. Uh, coming into this race, second in the point standings. I want to say two points out of that point lead? Question mark? Something like that? Whoa! I think I just landed on Tomac's brain. But Moosecan right there had a bad race in our last video, which allowed the points to extremely tighten up, I would say. And we are now within a point of him, but he is leading this race. We are not. <laughs> um, haven't played on a muddy surface in this series yet. Haven't played this game in a while before this series, so... Ooh, a little too much. So we are trying to get used to this game again, ultimately. A little too much air. A lot of too much air right there. Yikes. Ooh, boy. I'm remembering this track in so much painful, painstaking detail right now. I'm remembering it after I get through that section. That's a lap, by the way. More or less. So we're seventh right now. And yes, for the record, Supercross does race in the rain. Um, and it turns into basically a mud pit. <laughs> It turns into a pool, it turns into slosh, and it gets muddy to the point where you can't tell who any of the riders are, and that's the one detail that you don't really get in this game. You don't get the, the muddy um, jerseys, really. Moosecan, look at you. I didn't know you were back here. When would you go down? I thought he was still leading. Oh, come on, that wasn't a reset. That wasn't worthy of a... Yeah, it wasn't worthy. Tiny bit. Better lap right there for us. Boost scans right there. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a spinal break. Oh man, she's she's a little slippy slidey uh, in this mud. So, like I said, I've been to San Diego um, for a Supercross race. Mind you, I've been to San Diego multiple times, but like I went for a Supercross race and covered a Supercross race. My only time at Petco Park, by the way, was um, covering it for ARN one year. We went down there, me and a photographer. We had a great time. Um, it was very cold. It was uh, not raining. It was like misting. It was just enough to get the track wet and really affect Supercross and frankly make it so that anybody who's working the event didn't enjoy themselves <laughs> for the most part. Um, 
Whenever it rains and you're you're at a race, you know how it is. It's not the best time as I take that turn a little too hard and break my spine. Moose scan right here. Uh right behind me actually. Or is he did he pass me? Come on. Go, go, go. There we go, there we go. Going after Sealy here. Ooh, Moosegan. Dropping back a little bit as Brock is right there. Battling him, man. I like it. Helps us out with these points. And now he's completely out of it. But we're sitting third here. Working on Dino. I'll let Dino win it if uh, Dino win it. I'll let Dino win it if it comes down to me and him in the closing laps here, man. I like Dino, um, but uh, I still want a win. I want to try to get as many wins as we can. Whoa! I did it again. Hello, engineers. You crash into an engineer that's not really there, and apparently it respawns you. Who knew? Got through that section pretty decently. Gotta mush it through this sludge. Yeah, you see the riders with their tear-offs. That was a very cool animation that they added in here, man. Um, but yeah, if you've ever been to Petco Park, you know it's a it's a great uh, stadium. Very extremely modern. Um, just so 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 cool um let's go let's go let's go uh anderson and dean are swapping it up there ah oh, sealy don't appreciate that buddy wow what in the world that's a new one for me that's a new one for me. See, I find new and exciting ways to throw it away. Oh, really? Such a lame way to go down. But you see, I'm in it here. I'm in the thick of it here because Uskan's right behind me. I can definitely get these two right here. I feel in three minutes. And something tells me I'm not going to have a say on whether Dean or Anderson win this race. Ah, oh, see? Dang it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So what happens when you don't pick up the game in months and then try to race all these tracks off memory? <laughs> it's all good though, man. That This is a f supposed to be fun and so far I'm having fun. want to thank you for watching this. Make sure that you mash that subscribe button if you're enjoying the Supercross content. We got a lot more racing content that's going to be coming out. Uh, not only this summer, but later this fall as well. Tons of cool stuff coming your way. New games, um, cool challenges and stuff like that. So uh, make sure that you mash that subscribe button. Give us a like as well. It helps us out a lot. And uh, leave us a comment on what game you think we should play next as far as racing games are concerned. Or non-racing games. I might pick up a non-racing game if I'm if there's an outcry. Uh, for me to pick up a certain game. I might. I might. Never know. Never say never. See, I said I wasn't going to be a factor in this one, but... Guess what? Here we is. Oof. Our 
Our two leaders are right here. The three-way battle for the lead, man. Excuse me, Anderson. Coming through. I'm trying to, anyway. If I can hit these jumps. Ooh! It's a mud pit right there. Ooh! Did not mean to take you out, Anderson. My bad. Eesh. And still, that was a fast lap for us. Go figure, right? Still in it, still in it, still in it. 30 seconds and two laps to go. 30 seconds and one lap, technically, is how it's phrased. And I have the lead from Dean Wilson. Didn't mean to delay React, just, you know, trying to, trying to race. Trying to hit my marks, trying to keep it on track. Two and a half seconds up right now on Dean Wilson. Remember what I said about letting Dean Wilson win? If it's between me and him? I don't know if I want to let him win. The timer runs out. We are in two to go. Coming to the white flag. One to go. Oh, a little too much speed through there. You can see the water standing right there on the track. That happens... Oh, too much speed. Oh, buddy. Dean and I are going to duke it out right here on the last lap. Come on, Dino. Come on, Dino. Come on. Where'd you go? Oh, three seconds. Okay. I'll take it. He must have flubbed back there somewhere, man. That screams I made a mistake. And the, the unfortunate thing is that the game doesn't tell you when something like that happens. Um, I guess it adds to the realism because, you know, the riders don't know. Ooh, something definitely happened to Dean. Because uh, he's seven seconds back right now. That wasn't me. See, that's him right there. We have a lead on him. I'll mess it up though, just you watch. Got over some of the water right there. Water sludge right here. Oof. Don't look now, but we have done it. The top three riders are headed to the podium as the main event comes to an end. While we wait for the celebration to begin, let's check out the final results for tonight's main event. Muskan coming home eighth right there, Tomac ninth. We're going to extend our points lead here a little bit. We're going to get the point lead and we're going to pull away a little bit here with Dean Wilson coming home second, Blake Baggett four, or third right there, Anderson fourth, Seeley your top five, Barsha sixth, Tickle seventh, Muskan eighth. Eli Tomac, ninth, and Justin Brayton rounding out your top 10. Oof, nine seconds. I would not have believed it. I really wouldn't have. That was an incredible main event. As the results come up on the screen, showing how they raced across the finish line jump with a few surprises in the finishing order of this one. No kidding right there, man. Ourselves taking home the win. Nine seconds over Dean Wilson. You got Blake Baggett, third. Jason Anderson, fourth. Cole Seedley coming on fifth. Six, we find Justin Barsha. Brock Trickle, seventh. Eighth, our points leader going into this, Marvin Muscan. Ninth, Eli Tomac. And tenth, Justin Brayton. So we're going to not only pick up the points lead, but extend it coming out of San Diego. Fantastic effort by these riders. They put on a great show the way they battled here tonight. You see the points right there. Nice little 13 point lead over Anderson right now so we're going to keep an eye on Anderson and Muscan uh, realistically from this point forward but we got to try to beat them all and with that race 6 officially in the books in San Diego for Monster Energy Supercross 2 the official video game I'm Alan Bailey we'll see you at the track